They can't possibly be fighting again. Are they fighting again? That, that, that would seem so out of character for these two. That's one of the old signposts in our driveway. He's trying to find a weapon. He's gonna hurt somebody, I think. Oddly enough, shining down right here on the gates of hell. Oh, he's coming back. Just allows him to have a fight. It would seem so out of character for the entirety of the hub for these two not to be fighting or anyone to be streaming for that matter. Something is going on with Squeaky and her boyfriend. There's residents of the hub up on the balcony roof watching the disturbance. There's Squeaky's boyfriend. I heard Squeaky's voice. Oh, there she is, okay. And there's 360 Kids staff. Therapeutically making sure that the neighborhood is not disturbed by these two attendees. They can't possibly be fighting again. Are they fighting again? That, that, that would seem so out of character for these two. It would seem so out of character for the entirety of the hub for these two not to be fighting or anyone to be screaming for that matter. But I digress. Poor guy doesn't know how to dress himself either. Just last night, weren't they a happy couple and he was pushing her around in a baby stroller? What the hell was I just looking at? Was that a shopping cart? It's... What is that? She's in a stroller. She's in a stroller. I thought it was a shopping cart. A and now things have gone downhill again in just a few hours. Oh, great. Staff has come back out. Oh, she brought them their food. I think this is going to continue today. There'll be more. We just know it. She went inside, and he's in the basketball court. That's the, the look of despair right there. That's a guy who's wondering, why am I hanging out with this girl who gives me nothing but grief, and who we, in turn, give that same grief to the surrounding neighbors at and around the hub. He's at the fence talking to his buddy. I'm pretty sure also the boyfriend's name is Cody. Okay. Oh, someone else is coming. Oh, again. The field has become the meeting place once again. You know, Squeaky's boyfriend is trying to pull one of the metal support uh, bars out of the ground, or at least he was. That was holding up the tree. That's one of the old signposts in our driveway. I think he's, uh, he's trying to find a weapon, if you ask me. Because he's all pissed off of the situation with his girlfriend, or ex-girlfriend, or roommate, or I guess you need a room to have a roommate, uh, I don't know. Tent mate, camp mate, maybe just mate. Anyways, he's, he's still pissed. He's like, he's gonna hurt somebody, I think. Oh, maybe he's going to the bank to make a withdrawal or something. Oh, no, he's hanging out with his buddies that are there at the bank because, you know, it's part of the hub, isn't it? It's not a business trying to operate in this neighborhood. And up in the sky, you can see some of the, I think they're called crispicular crisp, rays, which some people call the gates of heaven, uh, which are 
oddly enough, shining down right here on the gates of hell. And it continues with the sun in our face. Oh, there he, there he is. Shoot, because of the sun, couldn't see him. This is where the bicycles are. Oh, they're both over there. Damn sun. Where are they? Where the bike racks are. Just past the stop sign. Oh. You see him now? Mm -hmm. Let's open that up a bit more and let's... See, this always boggles my mind. Did she just take her clothes off? She took her top off. What I started is... Oh, he's coming back. But what I started to say is it always, you know, loops my brain how staff just allow staff and security for that matter, just allows them to have a fight. On a residential property run by the government. In other words, doesn't staff or security, staff of 360 Kids or security of the building, have an obligation to prevent this disturbance from occurring and disturbing the residents? Well, there comes staff now. Oh, and there go the happy couple. To wreak havoc elsewhere in our once fair neighborhood. Now, I highly doubt that anyone present there, staff member or otherwise, said to them, you know what, unless you guys can calm your shit, don't come on this property anymore for free food and free bees and free whatevers until you can learn to behave and be respectful. Nope, nope, nope. Pretty sure that never took place. And they'll be back, you know it. Look at that, it's not even, like five minutes later, she's come back. Oh, she just came to get a light. No, apparently she came to cause havoc. See, even coming up to get a light of her smoke can't be a simple, quiet thing for these attendees of 360 Kids. Squeaky's boyfriend has returned to the hub, and it looks like he's having an issue. I'll open this screen so we can get a shot of what it seems he may be about to do. Well, let's pause this and hope that for once I'm wrong and it doesn't go anywhere. Well, he's disappeared. But as I've been saying all day, he's gonna be back. I think they both will. 